CataractCoach.com, manual SICS with nucleus bisection, with guest surgeon Dr. M.S. Ravindra from Bangalore, India. SICS is small incision cataract surgery, and it's a way of manually expressing the nucleus without using phaco emulsification, and it's a way to do it with a relatively small incision. I think it's far better than the older technique of large incision extracapsular surgery with the corneoscleral scissors. So he's starting off by first putting a pledget with some anesthetic in order to give good anesthesia so he can do this pyridomy. Opening up conjunctiva and tenons layer here, he's going to aim for an incision size of about 6 millimeters. Here's the marker just showing him where to do the incision. Using this crescent blade, he'll do a half scleral depth in, uh, incision there. Very minimal amount of cautery. And then continue to create the scleral tunnel. Now the key to the whole incision is the way it's beveled and the tunnel length. So watch carefully. This half scleral depth incision goes into the cornea. He's still not in the anterior chamber yet. And look at the tunnel length. So you have a tunnel length here of probably two and a half millimeters or so. And again, the width on the outside is six millimeters, a little bit funnel shaped on the inside. With a keratome, he just barely punctures in a small incision of maybe two millimeters. In order to keep the eye inflated with viscoelastic, here's the red reflex now, and he's using a cystotome to create a capsorexis. By only making the small incision first, it's much easier to keep the anterior chamber full of viscoelastic because he only has a two millimeter incision. A nice, beautifully round five millimeter or five and a half millimeter capsorexis is being created here, and that looks very nice. And then now it's time for some hydro dissection. And before doing the hydro dissection, he's going to enlarge the incision to the full six millimeters and slightly making it um, an inch, the inside tunnel a little bit larger. Here's the bounce salt solution. Going to have a nice fluid wave going across continuous fluid dissection until the nucleus starts to prolapse out of the capsular bag. Now dialing the nucleus completely out of the capsular bag, just like that. The vectus is underneath the, the nucleus, the 27 gauge cannula is above, and just using the force of pushing instruments together, he's able to bisect this nucleus. A little bit of work involved there. Once the first piece is bisected, it can be removed from the eye very nicely. Now a little more of the dispersive viscoelastic, and he's going to put the vectus back in. And watch how he injects more viscoelastic to viscoexpress that. That's a really nice technique there. And he can do a little bit more to get out of that epinuclear shell. And this is a very efficient technique. The video is shown in real time. Now using a Simcoe, he's going to remove all of the cortex here from the eye and clean up the capsular bag. So again, very efficient technique. He was very careful not to come near the corneal endothelium. So that's been protected. And even with a relatively dense nucleus, this is a very efficient technique. A little more viscoelastic going in the eye to fill the capsule bag. A J cannula used to remove the subincisional cortex. And that looks perfectly clean, a little bit of polishing and time for the eye well. Now, because the incision is six millimeters, you don't have to fold the lens. You can just hold the lens at the haptic optic junction and gently place it inside the eye and into the capsular bag. So very efficient as well. You don't even need a lens injector. So a little more viscoelastic going inside the eye just so we can position the lens. And now I'm gonna dial in that trailing haptic. And now the entire lens is beautifully set in the capsular bag. Simcoe cannula going in again to wash out any viscoelastic and aspirate that. And a little bit more hydro dissection can even be done to make sure that there's no trapped viscoelastic. And this looks great. You can see the lens looks beautifully centered. A little bit of checking on the other side as well, making sure there's no retained viscoelastic and getting the centration just right. One last check with the Simcoe cannula and then we can inflate the eye. He's gonna seal the incision without sutures just using fiber and glue. So a little bit of fiber and glue, there's the first component, and then there's the second component, and that'll seal the tunnel as well as help hold the conjunctiva over it. If you have a video you'd like to submit, check out cataractcoach.com, click on the link. We would love to learn from you. You can submit a raw video, we'll edit it, I'll do the voiceover. We'll all learn a lot. Thanks.